So this is my old Walker Kerner drill press. Uh, it's a neat machine, love it. Uh, years ago, I made a, a fence system table for it, cut out on the CNC. Let me show it to you. This is the fence. Oops. It has stops. This is cut out in two sections, two pieces on the CNC and sandwiched together to get the height to match the stops that I have. This top piece here, solid wood, put a channel in it for the T-track, and I uh, clad it with um, solid on the uh, face. That way I can go over to the jointer, keep it square. Now, one neat thing about this old Walker Turner, and that's, this is probably true for some of the other old vintage drill presses, you can rotate the head. That's really great for when you're trying to um, move the bit back just a hair, you know, like a, just a little bit. It allows me to dial in real quick. I get, I put my crosshairs down there, come down with a brad point, lock it in, and then pull that fence up. We're right there. So uh, it also has uh, this plug filler right here. So when you know drill several bunch of times and uh, you chewed this all up. So it's replaceable and that's what I'm going to do today. Let me take the old one out. You can see I've routed a pocket in here. It's been chewed up over the years and I've got a replacement piece. This has got to be routed down to match the thickness of this. Um, I'm going to put my replacement in there today. So now I'm good to go to route. I have a bunch of these uh, already cut out, so when I chew one up, I can just replace it at any time. Um, the, uh, I'm giving away the DXF file for this. Uh, go to my website, um, furnituremaker.com, go to the store, and then scroll down until you find the file for the drill press um, fixture. It's free to use, free to make for other people. It's not free for anyone to take it and make money off it commercially. I want this to be free.